this is the Advanced Distributed Systems Design course. Uh, it teaches developers how to use service-oriented architecture and domain-driven design the right way because uh, a lot of people in the industry have been trying to apply a lot of these buzzwords to their projects hasn't been working out so well for them. Uh, well, there, there are a lot of common mistakes that people make uh, when building large-scale distributed systems. Um, overuse of web services is a big one. Um, a choice of a wrong technology, especially around uh, enterprise service buses. Uh, a lot of times developers end up being misled by the larger vendors and ultimately left with a broker style of technology rather than a bus style of technology. And you know those kind of common mistakes end up causing a lot of projects to fail. So those are the kinds of things that developers will be picking up on throughout the course. Why not to do this? What's the reasoning behind it? Uh, and how to do things the right way. So not just which other technologies, but how to pick which technologies to use where, because often there'll be a mix of, of multiple technologies on a project. Well, I'd say there's a number of elements to it. One of that is uh, teaching them the called, better thinking skills and better analysis skills towards how to attack a new problem rather than using the traditional practices that didn't work out so well. Uh, the other element is specific techniques about you know, how to take what you've just analyzed and build it in a more robust and reliable way. Uh, I think that uh, developers are involved in building larger, more complicated systems than they have in the past, and they're kind of bumping up against the, the limits of traditional software engineering practices, object-oriented design, and that's causing a great deal of pain and frustration and complexity in their projects. So um, now's just the time to, to get people working in the right direction. Uh, I think Udi is a uh, professional and uh, he is a highly qualified uh, person regarding uh, SOA and DDD. I think uh, Udi is a very good instructor. Um, he uh, really tries to give you, uh, to, to get you out of your previous mindset and to, to help you try to think out of, uh, out of the box. He is uh, an expert in, in this area and uh, he is uh, yeah. so he, he's the source of the knowledge of SOAR and everything around SOAR. So and uh, I think yes, that's the main uh, reason why he's taking, running this course. Yes, absolutely, because it gives you um, a new way of thinking uh, besides uh, all the old stuff you may know. And uh, yeah, I think it's, uh, um, it's a mind widener, if you will say. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm uh, learning uh, a lot. So. Yeah, yes, definitely. So I think it's it's good combination of both theory and uh, practical questions that you can just project uh, on your project and uh, apply in your projects so far. <laughs>